Scorpion PSA 8.0 Quote Output Training. In Scorpion 8.0, there's a quote module that we use to do proposals and quotations to our clients. Today we're going to look at the output options once you create a quote. One single quote can have multiple output options depending on how you want to interface with the client. First you can open up the quote lookup screen. And from this screen you can open up a quote that you've already done. So we'll take a look at 23665 by clicking on the number. A little bit about the quote screen. On the first tab you have the customer information. If there's any special services or products that we saw that customer, they'll be listed here in the customer special products and services screen. When you're doing a quote, you can also attach existing documents to that quote simply by browsing the network and selecting that document. Now when you send the quote, after you choose its output, that document will automatically be attached. To the far right of the quote, you'll see the breakdown of the pricing. It gives you an order processing cost, a gross profit, the margin, your net profit, the total cost, and the total sale. There's controls within Scorpion so that you can't process quotes that are below a certain profit margin. If you have a quote that's below that specified profit margin of 15% as it's set in our system, you'll need to get a margin override by a manager enabled in order to process the quote. Up at the top you'll see where you can set the shipping type and the associated freight so the customer can get a good estimate of that. And you always want to set the status of your quote and the confidence and estimated close date so that when we're running reports we can get some good projections. If you're dealing with a, uh, a vendor uh, to purchase a product for this quote, you may want to put that vendor's quote number right here. In the pricing screen, that's where you choose all the products and services that you want to sell this client. In Scorpion, there's a products and services database where we store all the common things that we sell. You can simply select those by choosing the drop down. Find the product that you want and pull it in and then you'll know the cost and you can set the pricing structure. But right now we're just going to look at the output. So once you've got your quote put together, you can go to the printer icon here and then you'll have several output options. The first thing you need to do is select your printer. If you have a default printer selected, it should automatically select that for you. If not, go ahead and select the printer that you want to use. You have to select a printer before you can even preview a quote because it uses that to generate the quote. In the list here under reports are all the output options and as you can see there are several. Uh, they're grouped together in, in different types of quotes. Uh, there's a lot of them here so if you want to quickly filter them you can simply select the type of quote output that you want here. Basic, a change order, uh, the one with rep pick means that it actually has a picture of the sales rep that it sends, and we'll look at one of those. You have an end user quote, an estimate, so if you, it actually says estimate on the top, so if you're not sure if it's a, a labor quote, you can use estimate. Since we deal with partners, we do partner quotes, which has their discounted price on there, along with the uh, suggested retail that the partner resells it at. Uh, the picture book quote allows you to input pictures, so you can demonstrate what you're selling. The reseller and partner quotes are very similar. You have a selectable quote which allows you to have a bunch of items listed and then let the client select which options they want. And then you have the standard original quote. The two that we're going to take a closer look at today are the rep pick and the selectable. So if we select rep pick here as an option, we'll see that we then are filtered down to three different options, quote basic, quote selectable, and quote standard. If we look at the basic quote, and we can do a preview, and I suggest you always do a preview before you actually print the quote. Uh, you can then uh, take a look at what the quote's going to look like for the client. And as you can see, it has the picture of the representative here, and it has our logo here, and then it lists uh, the product and services, along with any project scope that you may have typed in. It allows the customer to sign it, date it, and input their PO number before they actually send it back to us. So we'll close out of this quote and now we'll look at the selectable quote option. Now on this type of quote you'll see 
that it doesn't give a total price because what it does is it allows the client to go in and initial which of these options they want to select and then they can total the options up at the bottom. Again you have a scope of work, you have any special customer requests, so you have a couple special items on this particular quote. And we'll close print preview on that one. And then we'll look at the standard. Now the standard and the basic are, are relatively same, just a little bit different format. So you can choose which format uh, you like the best. So again, here's our quote standard, which has just a slightly different format. If you want to go back and uh, see a list of all the reports again, you can just hit the clear button. It'll relist them all and you can scan through. And if you're not sure which one you want, you can basically just choose that and hit the preview button to see what it looks like. In some cases, we uh, ask for a prepayment. So we'll want to send a quote with the uh, credit card information on there. We'll take a preview of that one. And you'll see on this quote, uh, it actually has the credit card processing information that we request from the client embedded into the quote. So we don't have to send them a separate document. Very useful. Makes things very efficient when you're asking for a prepayment or secure payment for larger quotes, maybe a, a down payment even. So I do encourage you to go through each of these different quote options, find out uh, the ones that you like the best and which ones um, uh, work the best in the different scenarios that you might want to send to your clients. Uh, there are some additional functionality that's coming uh, in the later versions where you can actually combine uh, terms of service and then build your, your quote made up of multiple quotes and multiple items down here on the right side. That's not quite ready yet, but it is coming in the next version. So that's all there is to printing quotes and uh, Thank you for attending today's training session.